Okay, I'm back. I was on vacation for a week, came back, re-energized, relaxed, ready to go. Another year older, another year, another year older, maybe not wiser. Now that I'm back and I've got this mindset of I need to get back to work, I need to start making money, it had me thinking a little bit about all of the tools that are out there in the world to help people come up with the funds now to make decisions and push themselves forward. A big example of this is I remember back when I studied at the University of Waterloo, as an 18 year old, 17 year old applying to these programs, I was from a smaller town, nobody in my family had gone to university before. Something I never even knew to look for were grants or bursaries or scholarships. And so some were handed to me when I came to the university just based on my grades and it, and it wasn't really related to any application process by myself. But that was something that as I became a second, third, fourth year student, um, it, it kind of blew me away. What kind of options were out there? What was being offered by the university? What would have been offered even by my high school? And that sort of mentality is something that has kind of trickled along and followed me to real estate. There are a lot of tools and financial support systems right now to help potential buyers or help buyers get into the market and help owners maintain their properties. But just like I experienced 10 years ago when I was going to university, is a lot of people don't know what questions to ask. And that's a big part of what I try to do here with these videos. So the points that I wanna make are ones that have really jumped out to me and things that I try to bring up with people that I work with a lot pertaining to the Waterloo region, but but the real point of all of this is that as you start navigating and thinking about buying a property or if you already own a property and are looking to add on to it or add value to the property you already have, check out with your municipalities or regions or provinces or states, I'm not sure too much about the US, but look around and see what kind of grants or bursaries may be available to you if you are going to undertake a type of project or try to get into the housing market. Because finding money in real estate and finding ways to use the tools that are being given to you to maximize your return on your investment, that is what real estate's all about. That's what building equity is all about and building wealth. One of the biggest ones that most people, if you're gonna buy for the first time, this is gonna be brought up to you either by your realtor or your lawyer is usually the one who's gonna navigate most of it, and that is a land transfer tax rebate. Last year, the land transfer tax rebate doubled to up to $4,000. So that $4,000 would cover the land transfer tax costs of up to $368,000. The first $368,000 going into the property that you're purchasing. Something we have here in Waterloo that you may also have in your municipality or region is an affordable home ownership program. And so what this does is if you are currently renting and make less than around $90,000 per year, the region kind of has a pot of money on a first come first serve basis based on an application that you submit that can help you come up with your 5% down payment on a property up to $386,000. This may be a great opportunity for the buyers that I work with now to get into the market early as opposed to waiting and trying to keep up with the appreciation in their savings. With this affordable home ownership program, it is a loan of up to that 5% down payment, but it's a great way to get into the market now and repay when you sell that property down the line. The province of Ontario also has stuff like the renovations program, and what that will allow you to do is have possibly up to $25,000 to either maintain your property and keep it in good repair, or add accessibility or environmental options to your property right now. So if you have a staircase leading to your front door and you wanna change that to a ramp, then the, you may have some support from the provincial government to do that kind of project. These type of renovation programs can also help you if you are looking to create a secondary suite in your property. So if you have a bungalow with a separate entrance and you are able to legally and by code create a unit in that basement, you may also be able to get some support for that project. Along the same lines of that renovation program provincially, the region of Waterloo also does a very good job of supporting people who live in heritage districts or own heritage designated properties. Now I love heritage properties and, and, it, and I talk about them quite a bit in videos and in my newsletter. I'm a big fan of these heritage properties and so I love the fact that Kitchener and Waterloo and Cambridge do such a good job of supporting those heritage properties and trying to support owners of those properties to maintain the character and the culture that they hold. And so with that, there are also heritage preservation grants in the city. So for if you own a home that it has a heritage designation, 
because they want you to continue to use the materials that will maintain the character of that property or undertake projects that won't alter maybe the facade of that home on the street that you're on, you may be able to get some support for up to 50% of the projects that you're completing. Another big one that I feel like I don't hear enough about is the home buyer's plan. And what this is, is it gives buyers an opportunity to withdraw up to $25,000 from their RRSP to use it as part of a down payment on a property. If you've been contributing to your RSP for quite some time, it may be worth looking into what your options are to pull that money out and use it as part of that purchase. All of these grants and bursaries and programs have a purpose and they're here to help us get into the market, own properties, and maintain those properties and keep them so they'll be around as long as possible. Some of these plans are very dependent on what government is in power at the time and what the goals and visions are of specific municipalities or regions, but we have also seen pushes for homes to minimize their carbon footprint. And we've also seen a big push for accessible housing. As you go about your buying process, or if you own a home and are thinking about undertaking some projects, make sure you do a quick search online of what's available in your area for you. So there you have it. These are some of the plans and programs that are here to mitigate the costs of buying and making it more accessible for people, as well as mitigating the costs of maintaining and developing the property that you already have. I hope it's been useful for you. It's been fun for me to pull it together. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next Friday. Really hope you enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun for me. I hope it was beneficial for you. If you wanna see more from me, feel free to subscribe here or check out another video down here.